Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today I'm starting a brand new series to help all of you guys decorate your maps with a little bit more ease. So check this out. If we go into workspace we have a folder called zones and then a bunch of themes of zones within that folder. The idea for this series is I'm going to build two or three, uh, well we'll go three or four assets per map. So one map in each video and uh, if you guys have any more zone ideas let me know in the comments below and I'll add them to the list. So today we're going to start out with the aqua zone and I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and go into blender and build three or so assets to kind of fill up that zone and make it look like a good zone really <laughs> overall. Uh, I would not recommend copying exactly where I put all the vertices and stuff because then every game would look the same. So. We're gonna jump right into blender and start with the aqua zone all right guys so the first thing we're gonna do for the aqua zone is coral itself so we're gonna go into the edit mode grab a cylinder and i think i'm gonna go with seven sides i really like the uneven look of this uh i used to use six or eight but uh i i really like it like how it's just you know a bit more character it's you can rotate it and nothing's ever gonna look the same so that's really really nice and we're gonna start with just like a little bunch of coral so to make this super super simple and super you know easy low poly and stuff like that we're gonna actually drag this guy down and let's start off by making a couple sections so I press E to extrude and then just drag the mouse up and that gives us something along the lines of this we're gonna make one piece of coral and then we're just gonna kind of edit it each time we move it around to make the bunch so for the top we're gonna go ahead and press e and s that's gonna extrude it and scale it in uh and i'm gonna do it about this much and then sink it down in fact i might do it again like this and then sink it down and then grab these lines and sink those down a little bit so it gives like i don't know no nah, i don't like that <laughs> let's keep it let's keep it how we add it something like this is looking pretty good to me no i don't like that either i'm gonna go like this so there's a very little edge and then do it there there we go now we have a little edge that's what i was going for all right so that is all good we're gonna press one to go into this front orthographic view and uh just kind of play with it a little bit now of course coral's not gonna be completely straight i think what i'm gonna do is kind of taper it up so the bottom can be scaled in this can be scaled in and uh it's gonna get thicker as you go and then i think we're gonna start making it thinner towards the top again and i'm gonna have to get some wireframe view all right there we go all right so something like this and then we need to add a little bit of like you know twist turns bends just stuff to make it not all uniform and straight like bro no one nobody wants to see that all right we can add a little bit of rotation on these uh to click all of the lines at once i'm holding alt and then clicking uh it's gonna help you guys out a ton all right just 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 do it hold alt <laughs> so we're gonna do something like this this is the main shape of our coral i think it looks pretty good actually and then we're gonna press shift d to duplicate s to scale down and uh we're just gonna keep moving these guys around really you don't need to add too too much rotation uh because personally like i want to keep everything like on the same you know the same height here so it's easy to place in studio but i also like variation so we're gonna rotate a little bit this way we're gonna rotate a little bit this way and uh <laughs> we're just we'll get it figured out when we get into the studio and place it all right so there's that guy, and I'm going to add a few more of these, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so here's our coral. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these by holding shift and clicking, and then press control J to join everything together. This will be our coral. Up next, we're going to do like seaweed. Uh, we're doing a very, very low poly style, so I am going to go ahead and grab a cone. I personally really like this method. So a cone, I'm going to make this three sides. Boom. And then I literally just grab the top vertice into edit mode, grab the top vertice, stretch it up, and uh, whoa, 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 make sure to just grab this arrow, we want it to be straight, stretch it up, there we go, this is our piece of grass, and we just, uh, we really grab the whole thing, like this, shift D, and do the same thing that we did with the coral, we're gonna move it around, make it look a little variated, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, super simple. Here is our grass. Let's go ahead and put that over here. That's gonna act like seaweed. I think this guy could go down a little bit. That was a bit exaggerated. There we go. That will act as our seaweed, and then this will be our coral. And now we're gonna do like a tree, basically, without leaves. I think I'm gonna do four or five for aqua, just because 
I got a few ideas. So we're going to go ahead and do a tree. My favorite method for this, shift A, add in a cube, and then press alt M when you're in edit mode, alt M at center, and you have a dot one to go into orthographic, and then hold control and right click. And this is going to give you a new vertice at each point. Get the shape you want. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right. So here's my shape, guys. Now I have to add a little bit of variation because it would be a very, very flat, uh, flat object. So let me go ahead and try to do some of that and uh, and get it going. All right. Make some real nice stuff over here. All right. Now we're just going to go ahead and click A to grab everything and add a skin modifier. Just like this. Uh, you might be like, bro, that's uh, kind of an ugly piece of coral. So we're going to go ahead and add another modifier called subsurface right there. And this is giving us kind of what we want, but also not really. So I'm going to go ahead, go into wireframe mode, and we can see all of our little dots here. And we can go ahead and hold Control and A, and that is how we scale this stuff. So let's go ahead and work on that, get our nice shape all put together, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So uh, the beauty of Coral is it doesn't have to look exactly perfect. Um, so this... It's not the greatest looking thing ever. Oh gosh, we really ran into some uh, some little issues I'm gonna have to go ahead and fix up. What happens if we take away our subsurface? Okay, yeah, so uh, let me let me not take that away. <laughs> I'll fix up this coral and we'll be right back. All right guys, last but not least, also we did fix this. It's not the most pretty, but it is fixed, all right? So last but not least, we're gonna do the kind of like terrain you would use in an underwater setting so we're just gonna go ahead add in a cylinder and let's make this we could do seven sides i think i want to do six let's do six sides something like that and we're gonna go ahead go into edit mode grab our face selection go up and scale it out all right uh probably actually not like that maybe more something like this and this is going to be our terrain very very simple super super simple to make and it'll be great so here's our assets for the underwater aqua zone i'm gonna take them into studio and throw something together to show you what you could make all right so now that we are in studio we have everything imported with the bulk import feature this little button right here then click on your file and everything will go ahead and hop on in i also made a little plate okay this guy right here i'm gonna name him aqua and uh, we're gonna build a very, very small scene. And I think it'll be cool at the end of the series to see a bunch of tiny scenes uh, throughout the map. I think that'll be super, super cool. And also a, a kind of a unique way to show off my work. So for this, uh, let's go ahead and use uh, more of a darker blue. Well, like a light blue, but you, you guys know what I'm saying, right? I mean, come on. We're gonna use medium blue, all right? I'm also gonna go pick up the uh, free texture pack that I have. This one right here, it was made by dev for hire so uh, it is his pack, but he released it for free, and uh, we're gonna be using it today. Uh, the texture we should use on the ground to kind of make this all fit together would be... We could use this like the little circles. I don't know, that'll work, I guess. <laughs> Copy, nice, and we're gonna paste that right into here. Whoops. All right, there we go. Something something light for our ground, all right? Now, all of this stuff, of course, is too big because I'm making a very mini scene, but this is kind of what we're gonna do with these guys. We're gonna make our terrain first, and then we're just gonna do Shift D, or it's Control D in Studio. My bad, switching back and forth be, it'd be tripping me up sometimes, all right? We're gonna make this up a little bit, kind of rotate them. Just something, you know, something light, something light. I'm gonna build this out with the assets I've made here and only the assets I've made here and show you guys when I'm done. All right, guys, so here is the little water scene. Now, keep in mind, I have to do everything on this little 50 by 50 square, but I do think it looks pretty cool. I went ahead and changed it from blue to an actual sand because I don't know why I was thinking, oh, yeah, just because it's water blue. No, not exactly where my mind should have been going. Definitely a sand is on the bottom of the ocean. So we got this little scene going on. And of course, on a much larger scale, this will look a lot better, a lot more colors, a lot more everything, really. That you'll be able to fit into here and make look really really nice uh if you wanted to add like some finishing details you can always go into the toolbox and search up like bubble particle bubbles there we go and then i just gotta grab these bad boys perfect copy and uh get rid of this part paste them into my little base plate paste into and uh and then you know i would have to edit these particles a little bit as well all right, guys, so I edited the particle a little bit. Edited, I believe I said it right. And uh, it looks pretty good. I guess I could bring the transparency back a little bit. So like point, uh, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 0.7, bro. There we go. And here is our little underwater scene. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you're hyped for this series, make sure to let me know. We have a lot more stuff to do. Let me go ahead and grab all of this stuff and put it into the aqua pack. Boom. There we go. And group. Control G. There is our aqua scene, guys. If you're hyped, let me know what zone you want to see next. And if you have any more zone ideas, definitely leave those in the comments below. If you did make it to the end and you want to show some further support, your boy has a fan shirt linked down in the description for five Robux. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hook your boy up, all right? Have a great day, guys. Later.